Trikon Asana. This asana is called so because while doing this, our body parts, namely the hands, legs, and backbone, form the shape of a triangle. To perform this asana, please stand straight. Spread your legs at a comfortable distance from each other. Slowly raise your arms so that they are in line with both your shoulders. Please ensure that your arms are straight and leveled, not above or below, nor in front or behind each other. Keeping your left foot straight, turn your right foot at an angle of 90 degrees. Take a long, deep breath. And now, exhaling, slowly bend your body towards the right from your hip. Try to touch your right ankle with your right hand and raise your left hand up towards the sky. It is possible that some of you may find it difficult to touch your ankle. In that case, extend your hand as far as you comfortably can. Stay relaxed in this position for a while. Breathe in normally and breathe out. Feel your whole body relaxing. Inhaling slowly, come back to your upright position and straighten your right foot. Next, turn your left foot out and repeat the same asana on your left side. This asana is very simple and useful. It strengthens the back muscles and prevents the occurrence of flat foot. It makes your thighs, shoulders, chest and spinal cord strong and flexible. But if you have an injury to your neck or back, or are suffering from slip disc or sciatica, please do not perform this asana. When you take in long deep breaths and exhale, it helps you to remain mentally calm, relaxed, and tension. Bujang Asana. Bujang means cobra. While doing this asana, the upper portion of your body is raised above the ground in the same way a cobra raises its hood. To do this asana, you will first have to come in the makarasana pose, for which you will have to lie down on the floor on your stomach and keep your legs at a distance from one another. Rest your head on your palms and relax your body. Now moving on from the makarasana, bring your legs close to one another and stretch your arms in front of you. Rest your head on the floor. Now place your palms close to your chest and raise your elbows. While taking a deep breath in, raise your chin up and lift your body up from the floor till your navel area. Take care that your elbow is in line with your body and your legs are stretched in such a way that you do not feel too much pressure on your waist. Breathing in and out normally, stay in this posture for about 15 to 30 seconds. Practicing this asana regularly gives relief from incessant back pain. Bujang asana reduces stomach fat and provides relief from constipation. This asana also helps in providing relief from breathing related problems. Patients suffering from hernia or ulcer and pregnant women should refrain from doing this asana. If you have just had a stomach operation, then you should refrain from doing this asana for at least three months. Staying in this posture for 15 to 30 seconds, exhale slowly and bring the upper portion of your body down to the floor. Stretch your hands in front of you and come back again in the makarasana pose and relax your body. Bhujang asana is very useful in relieving tension. Practicing this asana regularly helps in keeping both your body and mind Setuband healthy. Asana. Setuband means formation of a bridge. In this asana, the posture of your body becomes like a bridge. 
This asana is also called Chatushpadasana. Lie down on your back with a comfortable distance between your legs. Place both your palms on the floor in such a way that they are facing towards the sky. This asana is called Shavasana. Now, join both your legs. Bend your legs and bring them close to your pelvis. Hold your ankles firmly with your hands. Now breathe in slowly and lift your pelvis as much as possible so that your body resembles the shape of a bridge. Ensure that your head and shoulders are on the floor and knees and legs are in one line. In this final pose, you can give support to your waist with your hands if you want. Stay in this pose for 10 to 30 seconds while breathing in and out normally. Setu Bandhasana strengthens the muscles of your lower back. This asana stretches the internal organs of your stomach to improve the digestive process and giving you relief from constipation. Setu Bandhasana helps improve cardiac functions. If you are suffering from ulcer or hernia, then you should refrain from doing this asana. Pregnant women should do this asana with utmost care and under expert supervision. After staying in the Setu Bandhasana pose for 10 to 30 seconds, while releasing your breath slowly, bring your pelvis down to the floor. Release your ankles and come back and relax in the Shavasana pose. Doing Setu Bandhasana regularly will help you to overcome depression and anxiety.